Right, guys welcome back this is the final look um, as far as the silhouette is gonna go I think it it looks pretty good um, I added a few things that were that I didn't record just because they were they were just little things and I didn't want to bore you guys with just be putting on a little item but for starters, I got this Velocity Stack from Zombie Performance. And uh, so I got this, and then I got this inline filter from uh, Lowbrow Customs. I just cut this hose and then stuck it on the nipples here and there. And then it was, and everything's fine. Um, I just rerouted this oil uh, breather, this crankcase breather and uh, put some scotch bright <laughs> over the over the tip of the hose um eventually i'm gonna get like a pod filter and just you know i've seen people put pod filters there so i'm gonna do that but yeah that's pretty much all i've added uh that was off camera um things that i'm gonna do next is i need to get this tire balanced because it's it's not seated all the way down and it's really wobbly when I ride. Um, I lowered the triple tree, the bottom tree down. Like it was, it was up here, I think. So I brought it down about an inch, maybe inch and a half. Um, brake master cylinders on, ready to go. Brakes working good. I actually, I think I need to uh, take some fluid out because I think I have too much in there. Yeah, it's like really full, so. What I need to do is I need to take fluid out of here um, and I need to take some more oil, a little bit more oil out of the forks because I put a little bit too much in there and I also need to get the fork seals replaced because it's leaking oil out of the, uh, out of the, the top here. Let's see. Yeah, see that? I don't know if you can catch that on camera, but see the oil right here yeah see that leaking out of there so fork seals are shot on both sides this fender I got from I need to repaint it obviously this was just marking up where I needed to put the hole but this came off of a so the the, the previous red fender I had on the bike this was the front of the fender because it's a front fender and I just cut it off and I just placed this in a bin. But I, I just recently found it again and I was like, shit. No, oh, this fucking tape. As you can see, it's double-sided sticky tape on here. Just like a little, a little improv improvisation and, and it looks like it's already coming off. So I'm gonna have to figure out another way, but I'll, I'll figure out a way to stick it on there. Um, I'm not sure if anybody has any ideas on how to, on where I, what I should do with this. Um, let me know down in the comments because I don't know what to do. <laughs> and, and yeah, this tank right here, you know, you've seen this tank. If you've been on watching my channel, you've seen this tank on the bike, like for the last couple years. Um, I love this tank. It looks really nice. I accidentally freaking dropped the bike and uh, chipped it. So I'm going to be repainting this. Stay tuned for the color. The other tank, the Sporcer tank that I was originally painting, I'm just going to, I'm not going to throw that on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint that and then raffle it off. Yeah, because um, I, I really like this tank. And since this, this bike's not going to be like a cross-country bike, I'm not going to be taking this any thing anywhere like far. So I'm just going to leave that tank on there because I'm just going to be going around town, you know, having fun with it. Brakes working good. Uh, I think I need to get new brake pads for the rear. 
they're still good but I, I want to get some I just want to get a bunch of new stuff for it make it make it even better performing uh, I want to relocate the coil right here I want to put it I want to get the the um, ignition relocation and uh, coil relocation mount that goes here that will really clean up the whole neck area. I think that'll look sick. Um, and yeah, the clip-ons, I put them above the light, as you can see. They were below the light, but it feels a lot nicer above the light. And it actually looks better too. Like you can look at the stance of it. It looks pretty mean, you know, especially with the the velocity stack it it really cleans up the look and uh, you can see a lot more of the engine that beautiful iron head engine yeah yes sir and I rode it earlier and it rode perfectly it's just that tire is really wobbly so I don't want to ride too much on it because it's kind of uncomfortable once I get the tank painted and the fender painted I, I'm pretty much just gonna leave it as it is. Oh, one more thing. So I dropped my bike, right? <sighs> and the fucking metal pan, seat pan broke through the leather on this seat. So what I did was I hit my boy up at Sewer Rat Upholstery. He's the one that made the, the king and queen seat for me. I'm gonna have him re-upholster this. And I'm gonna have him make it look like more like a cafe racer seat. You know, I wanna I wanna have the, the little hump in the back. I want it to kind of go up and like kind of contour. Kind of like uh one of those La Para seats. That would be kind of cool, but instead of coming right up, instead of curving up and then stopping, I want it to curve up but then like come back down. If you can imagine that, like yeah. We'll see though but yeah i repainted this this cap just painted it with a matte black uh trim black trim paint but yeah anyways yeah thanks for watching the video guys if you you like the video subscribe and like it get my video views up there and <laughs> get my uh get my video in the algorithm so everyone else can see it yeah. Alright, I'm gonna start it for you guys. Check it out.